Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to explain you about the human considerations in design. Like this is a continuation of the previous video. So first you watch the previous video. So human considerations in design, they have considered uh, four things here. Like the user's knowledge and experience, the user's tasks and needs, and the user's psychological characteristics and his physical characteristics. So this is a very simple and easy topic in the second unit. So just we need to consider all the measures like how we how you will consider his knowledge or experience like if you take computer literacy he may be very technical he may be expert like moderate knowledge or none of the i mean he don't have any knowledge in the computer literacy and coming to system experience like he may have very high experience low or moderate so this topic is completely just the me measures of every uh, uh, thing you are considering in it so here yeah, like application experience is also same like high low on and moderate and task ex experience it may be like the level of knowledge he has like the level of no uh, job and knowledge in the job and his task education is like high school college graduation post graduation those things and reading like less than fifth grade fifth to twelfth grade or more than twelfth grade and coming to typical skills he may be very expert he may be skilled, good, average or like normal one. And coming to native language or culture, he can speak in English or any other language. And coming to his task and needs, it is like a type of system use. Like he should use the system uh, like mandatory for him to use or it's like discretionary. Frequency of use. Like he is using the system like occasionally or okay frequently or continually. And task or need experience. Like it may be high, low or moderate. Task structure. Like is it repetitive structure or predictable one. Social interactions. Like whether verbal communication is required or not required. That means with friends we go with normal communication. With some higher officials we go with some verbal formal type of communication. And coming to training. Whether you have to be get extensive training, formal training or you can self train. Another one is uh, turnover rate. It may be high, low, moderate. Job category, executive, manager. We find many uh, positions in that, right? And coming to psychological characteristics, they, they have considered like attitude, motivation, patience and all. So attitude, you, you may have positive attitude, negative or neutral. Motivation, like your yeah, self-motivation, whether you are, whether you are highly motivated or because of fear you are low, low motivated like that. Patience is like for things, I mean for any situations how you are reacting, uh, like whether you are impatient or okay. Expectations like kindness, reasonableness, all those things. Stress levels, high or low. Cognitive style, verbal or, spe verbal or spatial, analytic or intuitive. And coming to the physical characteristics, they have considered age. Age is like a child, the young one, middle-aged or elderly. Coming to gender, male, female or other. Handedness, like some may write with right hand, some may be with left hand and some with both hands, that is ambidextrous. And disabilities, like they, few people have some physical disabilities like blind, deafness, all these things. So this is very simple. Just the measures you need to consider under every title. That's it. Thank you.